hey guys in this video we are going to learn how do you filter out a specific data in a table so here if you see on the table i am seeing all the data what if i would like to only see the brand name apple or the only the model names which are iphone right i don't want to see other things so how can i restrict a table not to show other data only show what i need okay so to do this here i have dragged and drop a table control and in the table control i have binded an entity so if you see data source in the data source i have put a entity name which is our phone underscore model underscore table let me show you by going to the data service this phone underscore models table contains two different columns brand name model name okay if you see samsung has got some models apple has got some models oneplus has got few models so it is just a simple table all i am doing i am just you uh, know putting the table name here and when you run it right the moment you run it it shows up everything that is there the number of data that is there let's imagine if there are thousands records or uh, 1 million records now uh, just imagine how lengthy it becomes and many times you need only to show what is needed okay so in that case how how will you do that okay so here you can see everything the data has come now imagine in a big picture where you have millions of records then it becomes quite clumsy right now in such a case let's say you have to apply a filter where i would like to only show the limited data so how to do it let me show you you put a equals to symbol and look for this function called filter okay filter source condition use this function and here uh, you have to use the open and close parenthesis within that you have to add the table or the entity okay double click on it and then put a comma and your condition has to be written within the square brackets okay so here you are saying in this table you apply this condition what is the condition i am saying the model name has to be or the brand name has to be apple anything okay for example i am saying here in the model table the brand name has to be apple so i am saying brand name you can apply to any of the other column so brand name and i am saying uh, comma and in the double quote equals to how to use contains all that i will show you so i am saying apple and apple has to be written in double quote okay so i have put a condition here now look at what's going to happen if i hit on preview if you have made anything wrong in the syntax again it may not work so be precise so what happened here the brand name apple has come and the model so i have limited or restricted the data as needed okay so this is understood now the other thing what i need let's say if i want to use uh, instead of equals to i want to use contains that also we can do simply say contains uh, and i want to say uh, we will apply for a different column okay so let me remove it everything and write it again <coughs> what if i would like to say iphone contains iphone okay so how to write that okay once again we will do it no problem so equals to the first thing is we will put the entity name uh, sorry we have to first put the filter uh, the function the function is we are using the function here filter function and use parenthesis inside that i will use the entity name and then put a comma and then this is the format okay and then here the very first thing i will select the column name the column name is uh, let's say model name uh then comma and i'm saying contains and all this operators has to be written in double quote so i'm saying contains and then put a comma is a different format in app okay to write that's it and here i'm saying contains iphone done now let's preview it okay now you can see the filter is working so this is this is another learning how do you control your data when you are using a table control or any other uh, other controls where you would like to show the data in a filtered manner so thank you guys for watching we are going to meet once again in our next content till then take care bye bye